Hello everybody! Today I am doing the Desert Island Booktube tag. I can't remember who tagged me. Um, I actually have already filmed this part. You'll notice for some reason the intro and the first two questions, the footage for that disappeared. So I don't have that. So we're going to go straight in. I'm going to answer the first two questions and then we're going to go to old Dane who is going to complete the rest of the tag. Dane reads. Question number one. You come upon a hut whose inhabitant decides to be your guide. Which booktuber do you trust to guide you across the island? So I am going to go for Richardson Reads. My reasoning being, I think he has quite a lot of maps in his library. I know he's also into like naval history and all that kind of stuff. So I just think he'd be quite good at, at navigating. Like he must know, what is it, the sun rises in the, rises in the east, sets in the west, right? Or is it the other way around? I don't even know. North Star is the bright one. I think it's near the Big Dipper. Basically, I don't even know my way around like my flat. So we need somebody like uh, Richardson Reads to, to give us a hand there. Question number two, you set off in search of food and come across a booktuber who can feed you. Who is it? Okay, so with this tag, every single answer could be this one booktuber, but I, I saved him specifically for this one. Todd the Librarian. Um, he's a hunter, so he can feed the meat eaters. I mean, I'm not eating any of his meat, so that sounds weird, but you know what I mean. Um, but he is also a gatherer. Like, this is why I like Todd, right? I have mad respect for Todd. Because we talk about this, because obviously he's a hunter, I'm a vegan, so theoretically we should be like diametrically opposed. But in actual fact, we just tend to both hate factory farming. <laughs> So like, he hunts a lot of his own food, uh, he tries to make sure nothing goes to waste, but he also does a lot of, um, like he grows a lot of vegetables, I'm pretty sure he knows how to forage, um, like he pickles a lot of stuff, so it's not like, he doesn't just go out, he's not one of these guys who just goes out deer hunting and shooting tigers so they can put their heads on the wall and stuff. Like he lives literally in the middle of nowhere and has to go out to, you know, a survive really but also to like help call populations and all of this stuff but he makes sure that you know he's not a guy who hunts for fun he's a guy who hunts for the utility of hunting and to use like every scrap of the animal so Todd's who you want if you're stuck on a desert island and you want to eat some meat although the old joke right everyone's always like saying to vegans like oh well what would you do if you were stuck on a desert island and there was only a pig what would you eat the answer is the pig has to be eating something right and so you just follow the pig and see what the pig's eating and then you eat the pig's food because you know it is probably going to be alright for you. This shows how screwed I would be because my battery just ran out while filming. I have three batteries, none of them are particularly charged. So I am not prepared for any kind of island stuff. Okay, you and your guide somehow get lost and you're thirsty. Which booktuber could lead you to water? Um, I mean, I don't know if there's any, it'd be somebody who knows like some hippie shit, like how to douse and stuff, even though I don't believe that's actually even possible. I don't think it really matters. I mean, somebody who's in reasonably good shape so they can do a lot of trekking around to go and find water. Who's in pretty good shape? None of us, we're all readers. We don't, we don't exercise, mate. Um, oh, I don't know, I reckon I've got good vibes about Charlie Heathcote. Charlie, you're gonna go and look for water. You're a farmer's son. You know how to douse for water, right? Question four, yikes, you fall into a hidden pit. Which booktuber would you look to get you out? I reckon um, probably attention. I, I think um, he has a very creative mind, so I think he'd be fine to come up with some weird system of levers and pulleys to get me out. Question five, the salty air is destroying your clothes. Which booktuber would you let clothe you? Ooh, um, I reckon, I'm, I'm gonna go for, um, I'm gonna go for the booktube goddess, right? Reason being, she is a drag fashionista. She must know a thing or two about clothing, right? Question number six, even castaways need distractions. Which booktuber do you find who gives you the entertainment you need? Um, hmm, I reckon, again, I'm probably a good one for this if there's a guitar knocking around. Uh, Al from Big Hard Books and Classics, who tagged me actually, because he'd probably have his mouth organ, so he'd just be jamming away doing like Gene Genie, we'd all have a sing along. Question seven, Shucks, you've been hurt. You need to find a booktuber to heal you. Who is it? Hmm, does anyone work in the medical profession? Okay, I can't think of anyone who works in the medical profession, so we need, I reckon, I'm going for Kaz from um, Cats and Camera. I don't know why, I just feel as though she has at least, she's at least gonna have a good bedside manner, you know? And also she will look at me and she'll be like, you just sprained your ankle, mate, fucking man up. 
Question number eight. Now it's raining, which booktuber do you meet who could build you a solid shelter? Again, Todd the Librarian's a bit handy, isn't he? But um, we can't have him because we've already used him to find food, which actually out of all of these is the one I trust him with the most. So who can build us a solid shelter? Uh, I reckon... <laughs> I am going to go for Graham Sillers from Graham Sillers Reads Books on the basis that if Graham's there, his husband Duncan is probably there and Duncan could build us a decent shelter. Question number nine, you come across a booktuber who challenges your perceptions. Who is it? We're going to go with Murphy Napier and here's why. Because back in the day, she was just, um, you know, trying to be very much, you know, booktube friendly or whatever, reading all the shit, all the YA and whatnot. And now she's really kind of come into her own and really started to discover the kinds of uh, stuff that she reads. And so I think she, for me, challenges the perceptions of what you need to talk about to be a successful booktuber, you know? She's happy now, she found her niche talking about whatever it is, science fiction, a bit of horror here and there, yeah. Question number 10, you find the source of all knowledge on Booktube Island. Which booktuber holds that knowledge? Well, it's obviously Steve Donahue, isn't it? Question number 11. You finally have a chance to be rescued. Which booktuber do you trust to save you? Cam from Wolfshot Publishing. I think uh, he lives in Australia and so he's used to rescuing people from the bush, right? That sounds like a really weird euphemism. Question number 12. You've been saved. Tag another booktuber to go on the Booktube Island Castaway Adventure. I'm just going to tag a few. I'll tag everybody who I mentioned in this tag. Mindy from Mindy's Book Journey. Uh, I will tag blah 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 blah. Um, the Archive, Graham Quigley, now he's back making videos. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shoot the outro to this because my battery is about to die and then I'll just list any more booktubers I can think of after that. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Please rescue me from this desert island. By the way, if you're a vegan and you're stranded on a vet desert island with a pig, the answer isn't that you eat the pig. You just follow the pig and eat what the pig eats because pigs will eat whatever and now you'll be able to figure out what's edible. Ha! Uh, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another Wishy video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Okay, so some more tags. Marie McWilliams. Uh, we will tag uh, Steve fucking Partridge. Don't know why I put the fucking in there. Why not? Uh, I want to do some international ones as well. Uh, so we'll do uh, Regina from Regina's Haunted Library. I would love to see her answers. I would love to see um, Mindy from Mindy's Book Journey, although I think I've already said that one. I'm going, I'm having a mind blank here, mate. I can't think of any now. Who have I been watching recently? We will go with Jim's Book Reading and Stuff, uh, Jeremy Fee, Mike G's Eclectic Reads, PG from My Infinite Read. That actually, he should have been one of my answers. I don't know why. Uh, probably the entertainment one, because he could eat, the man can talk about anything, it'd be interesting. Uh, the Nihilist Geek, and I'll do two more. We will do shout out to her, uh, Hoppy Pumpkin Dance, even though she doesn't make videos. Daniel from The Reading Werewolf, uh, he'll do a really interesting take on this, I think. And we'll do uh, Linda Jo Martin, The Book Lady. Oh, and Jason's Weird Reads as well. Alright, catch you guys later on the Flippy Flip.